So they are closing out the Night of Hope portion tonight. They are a debut concert, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. They have a show coming up August 27th, I do believe, in Seattle, Washington. If you're in and around the Northwest area, go check them out. They were in addition to the Night of Hope show this week. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. We are honored for their debut outing. Please welcome the True Believers, everybody. Yes, a little mic swapping. So, uh, we're going to have Trevor, our, uh, our uh, son and roadie. You know, kids make great roadies because they're free. <laughs> and he's going to go around. He's, he's going to go around and offer everybody earplugs. Because we're about to turn it up. We're about to crank it up. So we want everybody to be, yes, yes, raise yes, Trevor. Hand. If you need one, need a pair, raise please your raise hand. your hand because he's going to give you some. He's going to bring one to everybody anyway. Okay. So this, this first song is called If We. <laughs> Let's sing now, glory to God. Let's lift Him up. Let's walk in the truth and the light. It's such a glorious sight. Don't think that the things that you've done will change His love. For Jesus laid it all down, his blood's on the ground. If we died with him, we also will live. If we abide in him, our soul will hide. With you here. Let's sing now, glory to God. Let's lift Him up. Let's know that the life that He saves is for the one that He gave. song is called I Can Stand. Well, I, no, I want to say something. Check. Check. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Are you ready? 
like to thank Christian Music Spotlight for having us here today. And uh, like my wife said, I can stand. Jesus, that we can stand. Am I right? Yes. This you know, next. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, my wife. Uh, she's really in charge. <laughs> so I'm just gonna step back and let her do her thing. We're gonna go through these songs because we got not a whole lot of time. We're gonna hit it. This is just a man. Just a man looking for a life that is new. Oh Lord, you have all the answers. Show me all the things that are you. Your love is as deep as the ocean. Was a slave to 
creation showed mercy to me. Your love is as deep as the ocean, moving with a purpose that's true. So much more than emotion. So we're doing something right. I do want to say God is good. God is great. God is good. God is great. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Can I get a thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, so the thing is, is this, is that, uh, I know, I know she's, she's, she's like losing. Uh, the next song we're going to do is called The Journey, because, you know, we're all on that road. Some of us are here, some of us are there, but we're all headed to the same place. And, uh, and this song talks about that. Sacrifice, no hope for your glory. 
Thank you. All right. So this next song, I think we can all relate to. It's about what it really means to believe, right? Not to believe in just anything, because everybody believes in something, right? But we all here believe in the same thing, the same God, the same Jesus Christ. Yes. That's what we're here for. Yes. It doesn't matter if you're a rock band or soul or a young Nora Jones, I'm just saying. Um, that's what we're here for. And that's why we are the TRU believers, because we believe in truth and real unity. unity. So this next song is called, I Believe. If I let him be the one, he will show me what I need to know. If I let him in my heart, there will be no reason for me to run. There will be no reason for me to run.
how we always say, we're going to rock the flock and jam for the lamb. What we got left? One more. Does it shine? We're going to do a song called Shine. Yesterday, looking out the window, sun shining on my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The beauty that I see. I look at all creation, Lord, how you talk to me. Well, I've been thinking of all the love I feel. There'll be no doubt in you. I woke up yesterday, up in the morning on my knees. It's when I pray, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Without my Jesus, I know I, I wouldn't be free. I've been thinking about all the love I feel. Lord, there'll be no doubt.
Ladies and gentlemen from Seattle, the true believers, everybody. Closing out Night of Hope tonight. Stick around, everybody, after the closing credits. Brad Erickson is standing, waiting in the wings for three hours of Braves Room coming up in just a second. Guys, my goodness, rocking the house tonight. Yes. Um, everybody is loving the sound out on the stream as well. In fact, a couple of people out there that said uh, 27th in Seattle. I'm, I, I, I'm in. Tell us where it is, where they can check it out. Well, in George, the Seattle Drum School in Georgetown. Seattle Drum School in Georgetown, August 27th. August 27th. 27th. It's our official debut concert at 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And we have the talented Rashawn Nicole opening up for us. How long have you guys, as a band, uh, True Believers, uh, been around? I know this is kind of your debut. How, how, how did this uh, whole group come together for you guys? At well, uh, we started in the, uh, right in the height of COVID-19. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we had a lot of time to rehearse and a lot of time to practice and a lot of time to, to uh, pray and to come together in fellowship and to, and to come together and, and, and as a group and to, uh, to hone in all of our uh, talents and skills that the Lord get, get given us. And so uh, it's, uh, it's amazing. My wife's going to talk now. Yeah, so uh, John's been playing music for a really long time. That's my husband, by the way. Yes, married. Um, and uh, he didn't have a bass player. So he taught his wife to play the bass. So that's how oh. I was able to join in because John taught me to play the bass. And when I was a brand new drummer, me and John got together on the worship team and he taught me how to tune drums, how to play a lot of stuff. So this guy's been teaching his whole band pretty much. Wait a minute, so how, 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 how long have you been actually playing drums then? Me? Oh, I've been playing drums for quite a while, something like 15 years, 16 years. I was about to say, it sounded magnificent. Only two years. Yeah, how, amazing, now, right? How much? <laughs> Well, because I, I heard someone on the stream, I was like, yay, another female bass player. I was like, how, 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 hard, how hard was it a learning curve to learn, to learn bass? Was it, was it pretty easy or difficult? Um, I have been a musician for a long time. I was a band nerd in high school, you know the type. Um, and so I was familiar, you know, I had the musical inclination already, but uh, string instruments, man, I never could get it. But I had a very patient teacher. <laughs> and uh, someone who loves you kindly and just really takes care of you and makes sure that you're, they're not pushing too hard, but that they're pushing so that I'm always growing. And so I'm just lucky to have such a great teacher. And so it, it came pretty naturally once it started to come. Amen. So what is next for the True Believers? I know you guys got uh, a merch site up and running. You also have got uh, the debut show coming out August 27th. Uh, what other stuff have you guys got coming well, out? Well, we have a brand new release, a uh, song called Following Jesus, that dropped today uh, with a new video, a new lyric video. And, uh, and we got another one coming out, uh, Shine, that's going to be coming out in about two months. Uh, we're, yes. Yeah, so we're getting ready to do our, our debut, debut concert uh, in Seattle. And, uh, and also we are getting ready for uh, the 2023 uh, Summer Tour, Festival Tour. And uh, which we've played a lot of really big festivals and stuff, and and uh, and we're looking forward to a lot of things. And we get ready to go back in the recording studio in about six months. So yes, we got a, we got a lot on our plate and uh, a lot of things to do. And and we we just want to say thank you so much for having us on uh, Christian Christian Music Spotlight. Christian Music Spotlight. Indeed. Yes, and uh, and so I just want to say thank you so much for inviting us here, and we would love to come back anytime. It is great having you guys out, uh, especially shining the light in the Seattle area where we're from. We're only an hour south of there, so it's absolutely fantastic uh, getting to know some great folks who are sharing the light uh, in the Northwest. It's so good to see uh, being from this area. Uh, we're getting set and ready for Red's Room coming up here in just a uh, few moments from right now. Abigail Cortez Foster with Chris Belfield backing her up here in just a little bit. Brian Hoffpower, native to this church right here. That's right, he's gonna be coming up here in just a little bit right now. He, he can't believe he's here in this building. Yes, he's, he's bewildered as much as anyone tonight. Uh, 
Amy Picard will be back with us here in just a little bit as well. Uh, Rebecca Ann Curtis is going to be back with us as well tonight. It's uh, part of a fun night of Red's Room, hosted by Brett Erickson, so you don't want to uh, miss that, so stick around. You're with <clears throat> within about five minutes as soon as we get the green light for the changeover. Uh, for those who are wanting to know more about your journey, uh, calendar of what's coming up, the uh, merch site, whole nine yards, where might they go to continue following your musical journey? www.thetrubelievers.com. No E on the true. We're truth and real unity. That's what we stand for. Uh, we're also on Facebook, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Instagram, all the platforms. All the stuff. I just want to say, and I know she's watching out there because she's uh, the co-executive producer of our countdown show, uh, but she also uh, is um, who logs the music, and I guess she's doing it tonight as well because it wouldn't be a music show without that. I come to find out she's, she's going to be interested to know that, of course, look at their merch right here. They've got merch available. They've got the shirts, two different designs of shirts. But, Elizabeth, I want you to know if you're watching, I want you to know if you're watching, you know Shadow, the, the mascot dog we have? They also have a mascot True Believers dog. That's pretty much the exact Trevor, same Trevor, bring up one of those thing. puppies. Yes. We want, we want, do you want to bring one up real quick? Bring up a puppy. Yes. Uh, my frequent co-host on CBS is not going to believe this when I saw this. Yes, yeah, so we're running it up on stage here. That, that right there, there it is. You recognize that, Elizabeth? There it is, everybody. Yes, with a True Believer shirt on, there it is. That's one of the things you can get uh, on the uh, merch site. So cool. Yes, uh, they use a lot of the same uh, sites we do. Guys, fantastic to have you here. It's a blessing to have you uh, rock out for the Lord. You're closing this edition of our program. Uh, you guys are certainly welcome uh, to partner up with us anytime you guys want. It's a, such a blessing to have you here. Thank you for making the trek uh, like we did yeah, from awesome. Seattle here for our live Night of Hope tonight. Great to have you close things out tonight. It's great to be here. It was fantastic. Watching all the performers and all the followers of Christ and all the saints. There you go. So. The True Believers closing it out, everybody.